here we are. I am officially recording. I'm gonna spray. Cause I feel better when I smell better. What's up family? My name is Tiana. You call me TT, you call me T, whatever you prefer. So um, starting this, I honestly didn't know where I was gonna start. I didn't know what I was gonna talk about. I feel like not a lot of people are pursuing their passions and not a lot of people are being real about it. Like if God gives me a revelation, I wanna just hop on camera and record it. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are gonna get the real uncut version of me and you're gonna have to be okay with it. So I'm talking to you. I wanna relate with you. I pray that the things that I do talk about in this channel can relate to you and you can kind of find a friend in me. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been in shelter in place. We've been quarantining for so long. Like let's be friends. I hope that when you guys watch this, you're like, dang, like she's pretty dope. Like I wanna be her friend. Let's just see where this goes, you know? I have my faith sign. That's my favorite word. You guys are gonna learn a lot about me in this channel. Why faith is so important to me. I have um, a license, a few different licenses on um, my wall right here. If you guys can see that that's a, pa that's a picture of my parents. Um, I want them to have my back and be behind everything that I do. So I think it's very symbolic that I have a picture of them right there. What else about me? What else do you want to know? I'm from the Bay in California, born and raised. I played basketball growing up. I am a Christian. I grew up in church. My father was a deacon. My mom and my dad did ministry together for some substance abuse counseling. So there are huge, huge influences in the passion that I have for helping people and counseling people and just being there for people because I, I see value in that and growing up with their insight and their I guess expertise with counseling people it kind of like rubbed off on me because I wanted to make sure that um you know whoever I was around I can add value to like I'm a huge advocate for pouring into people just as much as they pour into me but even if people don't pour into me I want to make sure that I'm of value when they walk away from a conversation with me. So that is a huge, huge reason why I did take the leap of faith. What was it? Five going on six years ago to embark on the journey of self-employment. So if you're self-employed, if you're building a business, if you're doing things for you and what really gets you going and what gets your passion flowing and what gets you up in the morning, if that's what you're pursuing in your life, Congratulations, like I don't even know you, but I'm proud of you, like for real, for real, because there's so many people in this world who are just operating because, right? They may not feel like they're pursuing their purpose. They may not feel like they're pursuing their passion, but you are, even if you are doing something that you feel like you're not supposed to be doing or you're not passionate about it or it feels really mundane and things like that, like I commend you too, honestly, because you have to do what you got to do, whether you have kids, you know, a family, husband, wife, or, you know, your parents that you that you have to support. You're doing you. So that goes out to you, too. But um, I hope that through this channel and through my videos and stuff like that, you guys are encouraged and empowered to do you and really find the alignment with what your greater calling is in life. Because once you align with that, Ain't no telling where you're going. Nothing's gonna nothing's gonna feel like a real loss. Nothing's gonna feel like a real failure, honestly, because you're working towards something bigger than you, regardless of what your beliefs are. I find it very, very important to have a a further belief in something that's bigger and above you. So like me, I give all credit to God for where I am, who I am and where I'm going and the doors that he's constantly putting in front of me because it was if it wasn't for that, y'all, I would not be here in front of this camera with these lights during the daytime and being distracted by these cars that keep driving by. Like I seriously wouldn't. Like I'm a huge, huge advocate for mental health and creating awareness around that, but not just creating the awareness with it, but also providing the love and support to parallel that so that people can find comfort and find value in themselves so that their hope is restored, so that their faith is restored, so that they can kind of channel their focus into pursuing what is greater in their life. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that I can touch you guys um, 
touch you guys' hearts so that even if you are struggling with not really knowing what your passions are, not really knowing who you are, not really knowing what you're going to pursue in life, I really do hope that I can encourage you to see what's up with that. I do plan on inserting a lot of scripture here. I do plan on inserting a lot of shameless plugs for people who I support. I love prom promoting my people. I love putting people up on game. And I love just like being for others what I wish I had, either growing up or like in life. And I feel like there's not a lot of people who are doing things to genu genuinely help people. Um, so that's what I hope to be for a lot of you guys. I hope that you guys can find home or a friendship in this here. I mean, there's we're social distancing kind of. We have a few feet between us, so you tell me what you want to do. But um, what else do I like to do? In my career, so I'm blessed, like I said, I've been self-employed for the past five, going on six years. I've been blessed, honestly, with the best opportunity to help people and really make an impact on people's lives in, in a positive way. So by with that being said, what I focus on and what I, you know, try to help people with is just seeing where you where you're at financially or in life and bridge that gap from where you are to where you want to be and make that connection so that you do have that hope restored so that you see the vision of where you're going. You know, like I want to be your friend. I want to partner with you in your journey to get better. Honestly, I love traveling to different places and experiencing like everything that God has like laid out for us. Like in the Bible, it said God spent six days creating what's outside. So if we don't go out there and enjoy it, like who is? You know what I'm saying? And part of those, part of the creation is people. So meeting new people excites me. I love that. Um, do I love, like all people? No. And you guys may not like me, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't because we're different. You know what I'm saying? Spread light and love, guys. I love the water. Fun fact about me, I and not the strongest swimmer. I definitely almost drowned in college, but let's just leave that in college. I love sports. I love basketball. My Both my parents were athletic and they poured that straight into me. I really, really enjoy reading. I love learning. I sound like a nerd. I love learning. I love reading. I love just adding value to myself. Like self-love is great. And I'll be very honest with you guys, it wasn't until fairly recently that I've put value on self-valuing myself and adding value to myself because I am guilty of just not paying attention to me. So honestly, with this channel, it's a huge, huge step in pouring into me because there's not a lot of people that I do talk to and spend a lot of time with. So me being able to spend time with you in the form of a phone means the world to me so thank you again for watching i really do hope that if you're watching this you subscribe and like down below and um i'll i'll learn how to put the cool links like right here you're gonna see something there what that is you're just gonna have to watch to find out what else do i enjoy doing i love coloring i have to give credit to some of my big sisters who put me up on game they're like yo sis let's color Let's listen to some chill hopping color and i was like what we do this in adulthood i just got into coloring with gel pens which is phenomenal definitely allows the color to pop greatest thing on earth i love listening to different sermons i love being inspired i love being motivated i i actually do want to become an inspirational speaker so i'm definitely working on that let me know if you guys think that i can do that with community we need that type of support so if you think that i that i'm like built out for that please let me know because I need that support like i love smelling good honestly if you look good and you smell good and you feel good if you're eating good if you're drinking water if you're doing all these things that are good for you you're going to do better in life i encourage you to put on some perfume put on some cologne do you as you're watching this smell better do something that makes you feel better about you go put on some chapstick i don't know i don't know your problems but improve yourself a little bit why because that's gonna that's gonna pour into your belief in you then you're actually gonna feel like you deserve the great things in life if that's working out if that's starting a youtube channel starting a podcast 
um, ministering to someone, praying for someone, you know what that is. Like, that's the crazy part. There are so many different things that we know we're supposed to be doing, but we don't do because we don't put ourselves in the situation to even realize that we want to do it. The fact that I smell good right now, I know I should walk outside and allow these great people to smell me through their mask. I mean, why not, right? One thing that my mom has always taught me, well, my parents, is to have really good hygiene. I'm big on that. To take care of yourself. So I love getting my nails done. I love studying people. So if you're around me, I'm gonna study you. I'm up to your antics. I just love pouring into people, honestly. Like that's the main thing that I wanna do with this channel. I love, I love the kids. I don't have any kids. I don't have a man yet. But I do aspire and hope on having my little Blasian babies soon. I love music. I have a pretty eclectic taste in music. Temptations, Gap Band, Marvin Gaye, War, Chicano Connections. My mom, it's funny, fun fact, insert here. My mom growing up in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. She grew up then, right, in that era. She prided herself on being the Japanese Strola back in the day. She loved low rider music. She loved taking cruises through the city in San Francisco, listening to bomb music. So she definitely passed that down to me. I love taking cruises uh, along the beach. I love just driving and listening to good music. Um, car karaoke, thebomb.com. I definitely want to get on that show. Like I would love to drive like um, celebrities around, singers around and uh, sing with them. I may not be the best singer, but the fact that they are, like, again, I want to pour into your passion. I want to pour into your talents. I want to pour belief into you. Even if you're already the best on earth at what you're doing, I still think that there's still room left for you to grow. I love the beach. If you want to be my best friend, you take me to the beach. Rain or shine, honestly. There's a beach out here that I love driving to and just parking because literally the water is probably, I don't know measurements. <laughs> I want to say 30 yards or so from where you can park your car. So what I've done before, and I literally used to live like right up the street, like seven to 10 minutes away from this place. I would drive in the middle of the night or during the, the day, whatever. Regardless of my emotions, sad, happy, mad, excited, feeling any type of way, I'll drive up and just watch the beach, the waves crash, set the mood with some music. It's just great. Like, I just love the beach and I love just listening to the beach. It's nature. I love it. Gotta create that. Let's try it. And that's why I honestly don't think that I <laughs> would be able to live somewhere where water isn't lakes are cool rivers are cool but the beach it's the beach life's a beach you're gonna learn i'm a little lame i'm a little corny happens adds to my spices and everything else in my life so and let's add spices together a stew of our spices aka let's become friends i think that i'll also include that I'm excited for this channel. I have been a little bit nervous on starting it. There's been some things that help me up. There's been some beliefs that help me up if I could be 100% transparent. Because in the back of my mind, and if you're dealing with this, kick it out. Talk, reach out to me. I'll help, it kick, I'll help you kick these beliefs out. Where it's just like, well, why would somebody want to listen to me? Why would somebody want to tune into my channel? Why? I just think I'm some normal lady, they raised, gone through some life experiences. Like what makes me special, right? But there's a verse, I'll put it right here, that we were all set apart to do something bigger in our life. And a few months ago, I did get confirmation from my god mom, shout out Nina, that God gave her a vision of me being in front of the camera and reaching millions of people and God honoring that just by me taking that leap of faith. So that's a huge, huge step for me, the fact that I'm even starting to record because I know that God's behind it. 
I'm going to pray over every single time that I record because I want to make sure that I hit. I want to hit you in your corazón. I want to make sure that I can minister to you just through my word, whether if it's encouragement, whether if it's an analogy that I use. I use a lot of those. I love those. Or whether if it's something that God gave me to say or some random joke or some random thing that I say. Like, I really do hope and pray that I can minister to your heart somehow, some way, because I think that that's important. Community is important. And what I've learned over the last year or so is that community doesn't necessarily have to be side by side, arm to arm type of connection. That can mean YouTube. That can mean Facebook. That can mean Instagram. That can mean so many different things because we're engaged. Like you see this eye contact? I'm engaged. I'm engaged with you. If you like it, I'm putting a ring on it. I'm engaged to you right now <laughs> just freaking stupid um but yeah i'm engaged we're community now like we're here me and you me and us i see you not really but we're here it's what's important right so yeah i'm really excited for this process like i said i'm starting off with nothing but it's enough for me to get started it's enough for me to just go and press play and see what this is about and see where this can take me and see how I can minister to you. My editing is not going to be the greatest, but that's okay. I'm still learning the sounds of my chair, but that's okay. It's going to be a fun journey of progression in recording, progression in editing, progression in conversations. I'm excited for the revelations that God gives me to relay to you. I'm not trying to shove religion down your throat. I'm not trying to do anything to pressure you into anything um, except... I was gonna say make you happy but you need to make yourself happy you 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 are the only one that can truly make yourself happy hate to break it to you i know that having other people side by side with you and on the common on a common mission with you like that feels great do that get that do all them things at the end of the day make the decision to have happiness and to own it and so be comfortable in your own skin if I can be honest with you, I'm not 100% confident in my own skin, but I'm making the choice to be, I'm making the decision to be, and I invite you to join me. If you need some encouragement, please, by all means, reach out. Like, look, I don't even know the name of this darn channel, but that's okay. It's going to come out, and it's probably going to change, and that's the crazy thing, too, is I was like, I don't even know the name for this. I don't know an outline of what I'm going to cover. I don't know any of this, but... There's many things that I didn't know. There's many things that a lot of people don't know. But that's the beauty of faith. Having faith that God will give that to you. If it's in your heart, if it's in your gut to do, he'll make a way. He'll deliver that message to you. I believe that God is Jehovah Jireh, provider. So if I'm believing in him and I'm having faith in him that all right, God, you gave me this 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 course or you, you showed me what the next step is. I'm going to have faith to believe that he'll provide a name and he'll provide the platform and he'll provide the answers or the questions or the content. Cause I, don't, I don't know what the rest of these shows are going to look like. Shows. Being on TV. Show. Can you imagine me on my own show? And that's another thing you're going to learn. I go off on some crazy random tangents. It's really frustrating, but thank you guys for tuning in, watching, and allowing me to be vulnerable and honest with you. It's a huge step for me. I'm letting you in. Treat it with kindness, please. And hopefully you can let me in too, and we can build and we can grow together. Whatever that looks like, let me pour into you. Let me add value to you. Let me encourage you. Let God speak through me to touch your heart. And we'll see where this goes, right? Again, please, guys, I'm just getting this thing started. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You know where to find it. Do the bell. Press subscribe. Do all that stuff. I love you. God loves you. You're now my family. Welcome. Welcome to my family. You're going to love it here. It's the best decision. The rest of your life will be the best of your life.
only if you believe it so guys from today i hope you believe that you can do all things through christ who strengthens you you have greatness inside of you you have amazing things inside of you greater is he that is in you than he that is of the world you got this have a good one i'm out <laughs> i'm tripping